Thanks, Greg. Well, it's that time of year. The phone rings, you answer, the caller on the other end informs you, you owe money. Your taxes are overdue. It's a phone call thousands of people are getting. The person on the line says they are from the IRS. Jay Shepard with the Better Business Bureau joins us now with tips on what to do if you are faced with that type of call. And I tell you what, these callers are pretty aggressive. They are. But the IRS, they don't call you. No, they don't. So what are some things, because we've had lots of people call here, what are some things that people need to realize when they get this type well, of phone the, call? The first thing they need to realize is the IRS is not going to call you, not without first sending you something. So you're not going to get a call like that. So no matter how much they try to convince you and threaten you and they may know personal things about you, uh, they are not the IRS. <laughs> I promise you they're not. Just hang up the so phone. Just hang up the phone because the, the longer you keep them on the line, the more opportunity they have to pressure you and try to get information from you. And sometimes they'll even tell you, oh, you're due a refund, but we need some information from you. So they, they utilize all the tricks that they can. Mm -hmm. And they're just getting smarter and smarter. And the, uh, the thing that's really been throwing people off is now they've been able to man manipulate it so that the caller ID that you look at says IRS, so you really think it is the IRS, but it's not. It's not. The no. IRS will send a letter. They're not going to call, so don't fall for this type of tactic. Absolutely not. The IRS is never going to call you like that. They're also not going to uh, tell you that the police are going to come arrest you because you owe taxes, because that's what some of the people calling us are telling us, and they are so frightened by it yeah. because they're being so aggressive. But no, that is not the IRS. If you are tempted, call us. We'll talk you out of it. Okay. Another thing that folks are being confronted with is you go to open up your email box, and you have all of these letters from people wanting money. They They've traveled to a different country, they're in some sort of financial bind, and you recognize the names because they're friends of yours. Exactly. It looks like the email came from one of your close friends, and you're worried because they're telling you something terrible has happened and they need help. But your best friend really didn't just go to Turkey. And, and, <laughs> or if and, they did and they didn't tell you, exactly. that's really not fair. Well, there's usually some real red flags there. I mean, I got one this morning, the one that you're seeing on screen. That actually came to me, to my email address. And that person that it came from is somebody that we know. So um, it does appear to be that way. But, of course, when you're reading it, you understand pretty quickly that you know, that is a definite scam. So what do you do? Do you just delete these? How do you avoid getting these all together? Well, the, one of the best ways to avoid these types of emails is to um, not give your email address out. I mean, some people that utilize their email for um, shopping and that type of thing, they, they set up a different email for that so that all of that comes to that email. So it's basically like a spam. Exactly. So that catches a lot of it because you know, everybody is so social these days that everybody has your email address. So, so don't give out your email well, address? If you can't, I know that it's impossible to completely protect it, but that does limit it if you, if you don't give it out to everybody. All right. You know, Any other... Uh, when you're at a store and they want to give you a special discount to give you... <laughs> don't do that. Because if you do, then you're going to get emails from them and they're going to sell that email to others. So you're, you know... Any other fraud that uh, you're seeing at the Better Business Bureau at this time of year? Well, another one that we're seeing is on Facebook. You know how you're on Facebook and then you get this um, immediate message, something that's really exciting and something that you just are so curious about yeah. and you want to click on it? And some of them are really good. But don't click on that because if you do, then you could download some malware. So Onto be very careful not to jump to click to something that looks interesting, some, you know, interesting fact that you know, you just have to know about. And when in question, you can always contact the Better Business Absolutely. Bureau. Absolutely. We're glad for you to call us. All right, Jay, as always, we appreciate all the help and the tips that you give us at the Better Business Bureau. Well, thank Southeast you for giving Texas. us this oppor opportunity. We appreciate it. Absolutely.